Yeah. So, Mary, we're on uh, Facebook. Hi, John Bromley Smiley from Your Holistic Academy. And my guest today is Mary Mullally from Pure Pro Massage Products. How are you doing today, Mary? Hi, John. I'm good, but I'm a little bit nervous. This is my first ever Facebook Live. So. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. listen, we're just going to have a little conversation, Mary. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you can talk to me a little bit about uh, how you got involved in the, in the whole world of massage and massage therapy. Yeah, um, it probably goes back. Um, it goes back a good, a good 20 years. I regularly went for massage myself. Um, and when I was invited onto a, a massage course to learn energetic massage, um, my response was, I go for massage. I don't give massage. I wouldn't have time. I'm not interested. It's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> All of the objections that I put up, um, but the universe had other plans for me. Uh, yeah. And I'm very grateful that they had. And I'm even more grateful that I was able to um, accept on faith and and take that take that leap of faith and enroll in this massage course but previous to that um, I was working in a very busy corporate small uh, corporate uh, setup um, had a very good lifestyle and yeah. um, everything was hunky-dory but yet there was something I was always looking for something else I, but I'd always been interested as well in sort of self-care, well-being, health, nutrition. Um, the very first book in that area um, of my very large uh, library of self-care books uh, was Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought of it this morning when I said Feel the Fear and I'm doing a Facebook Live. Yeah. Um, so I enrolled in this course and it was the only course in Ireland um, that was teaching energetic massage, working with chi flow, uh, and chakras uh, while learning the skills of holistic of, of holistic Swedish massage. Yeah. The course was nine months. Uh, it was in Tipperary. So I, once a month, I traveled up and down to Tipperary. But the very first evening, the very first Friday evening, we all sat in a circle. There were about 11 of us. And something just clicked. I felt I'm home. This, this mm. feels just so right. Yeah. Um, there was a huge amount of self-development and self-introspection and going into ourselves, as well as learning, obviously, the skills of massage. Um, so I'm extremely grateful that I did that. Um, and within, within the year, I had left my corporate job, it took six months out. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, was faced with, um, well, where will I get clients from? Yeah. And my teacher and mentor. Um, yeah. Phil Maloney said, the clients that you can help and that need your skills will come to you. Yeah. And they absolutely did. That was 2004. Mm -hmm. I founded um, Time For You, my, my massage therapy business. And I haven't really looked back since. Um, but that wasn't the end. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was really only the start. Yeah. Um, my background was really uh, administration and marketing. And in around 2006, seven, the IMTA, the Irish Massage Therapists Association, uh, were looking for an administrator. And I was working part time from home. I have a beautiful, dedicated uh, treatment room um, for, to see my clients. And I just said, I can do that. Administration is probably my first my first love. Um, so for five, the, almost the next five years, I was the national administrator for the Irish Massage Therapists Association, which gave me a real insight into the working life of other therapists. I knew what it was like, but in Dublin, it was always different. There was much a higher population, a higher uh, catchment area. But in the country, therapists were very isolated. And I spent a, most of, a lot of the time was literally talking to therapists on, you know, on the phone, if they'd ring up with a query, if whatever, just how is it going? How are you? How are you finding business? And I found I just had a really good rapport and I just sort of built up an instinct um, for working with therapists. So I did that for almost five years while continuing uh, my time for you business. 
uh, which is still uh, which is still going strong. Um, but how Pure Pro came into the picture was I had been um, introduced to Pure Pro massage oil. This is a, a sample here of uh, of the liter size. And you can see it's a really clear, pure, clean massage oil. I was introduced to that um, at one of the IMTA AGMs and I started using it. I still use it. Yeah. Um, so that went on for a number of years. I was quite happy. And then at the end of 2011, the girl who had the agency to distribute Pure Pro in Ireland, um, her, her business just literally folded. And um, I... Yeah. I just said, I have to, I have to get this oil somehow. So I contacted her. She lived in Philadelphia and uh, she just said, she knew my background and she said, take over the agency. I'm happy to give it to you. Happy to give you my mailing list. And I said, absolutely not. No, no, not going there, not going back with my head. I'm very happy working in my little treatment room and doing work for the IMTA. Um, but that, again, the universe, my spirit guides and angels just kept at it and at it. And literally within a month, I contacted Pure Pro. I sent them a CV, which I hadn't prepared a CV, um, yeah. I would say, in, in the previous 20 years. And um, that was the end of December. And by the 1st of February, I had my first consignment, literally uh, just of this Pure Pro oil coming across the Atlantic. Obviously, it has to come by ship because it's it's an oil it can't it can't be flown um, and that was really the start little by little I started contacting clients it was slow um, but I was known within the industry um, so I just started contacting um, therapists and bit by bit they started ordering and what I've always found that once people start using the ultra oil which is me my, my flagship um, my flag flagship product they usually stick with it it's a very light oil it's all natural all vegetable based ingredients yeah. um but the unique it's unique selling point as far as i'm concerned is it's water dispersible so it washes out easily from therapists towels sheets linens uniforms and it doesn't stain yeah. also clients can get dressed immediately and you're not you know, wiping off ex excess oil so their clothes don't stain. And that for me was the biggest. I was quite happy just to bring in um, ultra massage oil. It's right. the really, really uh, selling, good selling point about it. It saves therapists money, basically. They're not replacing their oils. They're not ashamed of stains on their plinth covers. Um, but then, of course, my old marketing hat uh, uh, put that on and realized that Pure Pro was uh, a wonderful company to work with. So my second order, I brought in other products, say the Arnica Relief Lotion and the beautifully aromatic uh, Peppermint Pedango Foot Cream. Yeah. Then I also do deep tissue. Um, I, I suppose it's not a very large pro product range that I stock, yeah. but as I've said to you before, um, every product that I stock can be used by any therapist in Ireland. So and the, it's a one-stop shop. So whether you're doing baby massage or pregnancy massage or the deep tissue, uh, holistic massage, of course, the deep tissue or the neuromuscular, the very deep, heavier treatments. Yeah. Pure pro I, I have a product that suits every Brilliant. every yeah. every therapist. So if that also saves the money in that they can come to the one web website and and order and really um i have loyal i have customers and clients from, literally from 2012 from when i started and um, a lot of them have become friends um and i relaunched this year obviously with covid19 i had been looking personally at pulling back um from my own time for you business as i got older my clients were getting older um, and I wanted to do less, less massage work. I, I don't want to give, ever give that up until, yeah. <laughs> until I have to, sure. but I wanted to cut down um, rather than working every day, working three days a week. So I introduced that in January and had intended to build up more the, um, 
my pure pro pure pro business uh, through social media and market social media digital marketing but then of course covid came in yeah, yeah. and yeah. put a stop to everyone's gallop but yes it was a good time you know i actually enjoyed the, the the first lockdown i was able to look at what i was doing and even though um I'm not quite a technophobe, I'm not far off it. So we reinvented the, um, we relaunched our website, purepro.ie. And I'm now attempting to do a lot more digital marketing um, because that's just the way, the way yeah. things. You're also, you're also a sort of champion for all the other massage therapists because you've got a you've got a very extensive Facebook group, Massage Matters, Mary, as well. Right? Well, that's right. Yes, yeah, I I forgot about that. Um, a, a, a colleague, a friend of mine, about almost four years ago now, we we just met for coffee one day, and I was aware from my time with the IMTA that there were therapists around the country that were working on their own. And we just met for coffee in town one day and we we just, it, the germ was there and we discussed it and we set up the Facebook page, uh, which now has over 1400 therapists, mainly in, mainly in Ireland, but some, uh, some in the UK and a lot in America, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's really a support page, a support group. Yeah. Um, we source um, products, we ask, um, where can I get? Does anybody know? Can I get some help with this? Um, and it's just a really a, a good. I, I think one of the benefits of it, apart from the support, um, is that it has broken down the barriers of therapists, particularly in the country, who were very much, um, you know, this is my patch. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'd be afraid to talk to the therapist um, down the road yeah. because then my, th my clients, you know, so um, therapists in the group have just have literally become friends. And it's wonderful when somebody puts up, you know, can anybody help me with this or where can I go? Like even this morning I saw um, I'm looking for a physical therapist in Dublin 6, anywhere I'm willing to travel. Does anybody know if somebody has um, has room to rent? You know, we put that up. If somebody is looking for space, if yeah. somebody is selling a product, so it's 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 really it's it's the support, sure. and we had we were having social interactions. We were meeting in different parts. You know, mainly in Dublin. Now we've made some of us would get together, but COVID, you know, put pay to that. Okay. Yeah. And as well as that, um, while I'm obviously always promoting Pure Pro. I was very much aware, and about three years ago, I actually started um, Business Matters for Therapists. I was very aware that most therapists are coming from a caring background, maybe nursing, sure. or were introduced to working as a therapist because they got benefit from a treatment, whether it was reflexology or massage, and they went and did their training but they have very little business background or knowledge of how to run a business. And I actually had a foot in both camps because yeah. I worked in business beforehand. Yeah. Um, so I put together um, um, work, a, a one day workshop called Business Matters for Therapists. And I delivered um, oh, maybe 10 or 12 of them, mainly in Dublin, but then moved out around the country. Just giving therapists the basics of how to run a business. It was all very simple, but again, it brought eight or 10 therapists together in groups and they were really, really very successful. Yeah. Um, it was really teaching them how to register your business, how to register with the CRO, the yeah. insurance that you needed, the insurance that your clients needed in order to claim. Yeah. Um, but then we also, of course, covered how to keep accounts and GDP or everything that I knew a, a therapist needed uh, yeah. to know. And, and we just we had great fun. The, the days were really, really wonderful. But I always included uh, a mindset, you know, yeah. how to we had a how to grow your business in the more traditional way, not only through social media, but the old fashioned way. 
making contact, giving referrals, getting referrals. But we always had a module in it called um, your mindset, your attitude, how to attract what you want it. Yeah. What you think about it is what you get. Sure. Um, back to the universe, Mary. Uh, oh, back to the universe. No, no, that's that's absolutely, totally part of what I, I do now. And from the business matters, then that spawned personal development matters for therapists. So we had business matters for therapists yeah. coming from massage matters, and then we had personal development matters. So we did less of those, um, but they were all about getting your head into the right space, connecting with something that's bigger. Yeah. That's sure. bigger than you. And I, I just love that. Yeah. That, um, that's that's that, area. I mean, that reminds me so much of the, uh, the journey that we're on now with the Realistic Academy, because it's very similar concept. Of, of connecting therapists, uh, not just from massage, but right across the holistic sector, and also mm -hmm. bringing those business skill sets to that as well. So it's very, it's a very similar project with the Holistic Academy, but it's 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 more wider than just. Oh, much yeah, much bigger. Mine was on a on a, a one to one basis. Yeah, so. it was the same, yeah. same same concept really. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you talk about uh, I guess uh, you believe in divine timing, Mary, for all these things, do you? Because absolutely absolutely yeah like even just to give you an example yes a pure pro example um uh my husband had to go to the beacon yesterday just a general checkup and i i wasn't that busy so i said i'd go with him and um, just for just to get out of the house okay and legitimately yeah, be able to go <laughs> to drive in the car yeah. and just before we left phone call from a client of mine who um I knew she was having a knee operation and she always uses Arnica relief lotion. She buys it most times for every second visit, she would have Arnica relief lotion. She was home a week from hospital. She was running out and of course she wanted me to deliver it, which I would often, I would often do. But that phone call came literally as we were going out the door. Yeah. I suspected when she said she'd had her knee operation, which I knew was scheduled, that she was probably looking for an Arnica relief lotion. So I flew up to the stock, just took one out, went in the car, was still talking to her in the car yeah. when she said, now Mary, was there be any chance would you be ever coming up my way? <laughs> you know, so it was the synchronicity, the, yeah. the timing of that phone call. I just smiled to myself, like she didn't know at that stage I was in the car with yeah. her, yeah. her Arnica relief lotion. And I know exactly where she lives. And we dropped it in on the way home. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's a very minor example. Yeah. yeah sure. But that happens so often during the day. And I just say, thank yeah. you, angels. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Life can be so, so much simpler if we can follow that, uh, that guidance, if you like, that intuition that we have. And we all have that, don't we? Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I guess, uh, I, I guess what's, what's the one thing that takes us away from that most? Is it stress or what, what do you think is it? Oh, yeah, it is stress. What takes you away from, from being quiet and being so busy? And that's what I think a lot of people, and I personally benefited from the first lockdown. And I think Pure Pro has benefited as well in yeah. that I slowed down, I looked, I just I take it as it comes, and I had much more time. I do Tai Chi every day, which is sort of very meditative. So I do that every morning. And my meditation, meditation, it's more quiet time that I just sit and, and just sit and wait. And I'm much easier in myself. Yeah. And I think I'm much less, um, oh, I have to make a go, pure pro has to be profitable. Yeah. You know, the sales just come and I just, you know, I'm just very grateful and connect. And I actually would say, okay, I need X amount of sales this week. I'd write it. I do journaling every morning. And, you know, when I get at the moment, I'm just looking for two orders every day. And so far I've had my two orders, some big, some small. Yeah. Um, so I would put out, you know, I try to practice what I preach, John. I put out to the universe. This is what I want. This is what I need. Um, and thank you. That I have it. 
that yeah. I have it already. Yeah, and that gratitude, uh, that uh, habit of gratitude every day is, is probably one of the most important habits anybody could have, wouldn't it? Oh, it is, yeah. My, if I don't do it, <laughs> I, I just feel my day is, 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 is not going to, to work. I mean, you can do it at any time. There's times I'd often pick up my notebook here during the day, or if I get a really nice juicy order, just yeah. thank you for that order. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So while I do need to continue to build Pure Pro, and I certainly struggle with the, um, the social media end of it, I, I really do. It doesn't come naturally to me. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm getting there and I have the help and I've been given the support yeah. to, help me, to help me through it, you know? Sure, yeah. Yeah, and like we've we've so much in common, Mary, because I'm actually training to be a Tai Chi teacher at the moment. And uh, I great, think, did you study bioenergy as well at one point? Or? Um, I studied QCT, which is which is the similar energy is energy, John. Yeah. Really, yeah. Um, quantum yeah. coherence therapy. Yeah. yeah, tell us a little bit about the quantum coherence, Mary. Mm -hmm. what, what? Well, the basis is um, it's very like Reiki. And it was founded actually by three Irish Irish people. They um, tested it over about 10 years and they really developed this therapy and treatment, which is hands-on or hands-off, and it can be incorporated into any other modality. I would use it now all of the time with my, my holistic massage. Um, and it is basically where you raise your energy. As a therapist, I will raise my energy. I have a little protocol that I would raise my energy, my, my vibration, yeah. and you just present it to the client. Yeah. It's just there for their consciousness to pick up. It's very similar to Reiki, yeah. but where it, it's exactly the same as Reiki, but it, point, it, it, it splits at this one very important point. And that is with Reiki, you're bringing energy through you through your own body as the therapist and presenting it to the client mm -hmm. but with qct you separate your energy completely mm -hmm. your client is on the plinth and separate and you're, you're working there although you're standing with them and um, so that there's no interaction so the therapist's energy and chi is not being yeah. depleted yeah. And that's the main reason why Charles Stewart and Jane founded and, and built up QCT as a, as a modality because of the high instance of burnout in therapists. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we were therapists were giving, giving, giving. Yeah. They were very seldom where they thought how to protect their energy. And where I studied in, in our solace, that was our first every day. Our first thing was how to protect your own energy. I am I, I would have psychologists and psychiatrists who attend me. And when I've said, what protection do you have? What protocol do you have for protection? Not one of them have ever been taught yeah. how to protect their energy. Um, yeah. so, ba so basically it, it was it was more developed for therapists than for clients, but they really, really benefit. You're just presenting and you're witnessing. The, their vibration and you just hold your hand over a chakra or an organ or a joint until you feel that vibration and as the therapist you're not there trying to change it you're just witnessing it yeah you I literally I bear witness to your healing in whatever area yeah it makes total sense Mary because mm -hmm. I mean yeah uh, that's what that's what healing I mean uh, you're, you're just presenting uh uh, and you're facilitating the healing. You're not actually That's it, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. People often say to me, Oh, you're wonderful. Oh, that feels great. You did a great job. I said, No, I didn't. It was your vibration, your response, your consciousness that reacted in as much as it was ready to react. Yeah. And as I say, you incorporate it with any, you can do it with acupuncture, yeah. kinesiology. I mean, energy is energy. There's only yeah. one energy system in the body. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whatever modality you use but the qct it's just so gentle um it's, it's just wonderful i you know and you can do it of course on yourself and at the moment now i'm i'm i do a distance i would have a healing session now every second week yeah i would give it one week and my colleague yeah yeah um, would reciprocate and it, it works distance i mean you know distance healing is yeah. well established 
Yeah, yeah. And the other thing, Mary, in terms of the, uh, there's, there's a, bit of a uh, bit of a battle going on now with massage therapists to try and get recognition for their work. It's essential. I mean, it is an essential service uh, for people, especially for mental health and uh, yes. emotional health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet uh, you're finding that you're closed on because yeah, uh, we're we're closed again, but we're we're working on and we're working on that very actively. The, the main associations in Ireland are the IMTA for massage yeah. and reflexology have the IRIL and the NORI. Um, so they're all lobbying and all yeah. therapists are have been encouraged in the last couple of weeks, well, in the last month. Yeah. to lobby our TDs and say why we are essential and that we actually are an adjunct to yeah. um, the medical profession. Sure. That we are, we are helping clients and there are clients need us. And we're also asking our clients to write to their TDs as well. Yeah. Um, so there's, we, there's a lot put, happening. Can we put out a call to action today for anybody who's tuned in to, uh, to help your campaign? How would they, how would they do that? So, um, well, they would probably. I can email them a draft letter, which then they can they can you know obviously adjust to suit their own their own business. Yeah. And also, um, there's know your TD. So then a lot of people maybe wouldn't know their TD. So if the, there's a, a link, which and I'm quite happy to email that out if anyone is interested. If they email me, Mary at purepro.ie or text me. Uh -huh. um, I'll just send them the two links yeah. so that they have the, the draft letter, which they can personalize and yeah. then they can quite easily find who their TDs are and lobby their TDs. And also if they can ask their clients to, to write yeah. their TDs, I, I can't attend for my treatments at the moment. I'm really missing them. Yeah. I feel they're of great benefit to me. Yeah. So it's, it's to try and get a, a grand swell. Sure. Yeah. Um, Sure. And I can connect with you on uh, Massage Matters as well. You have this sort of campaign there on Massage Matters. Oh, yes, that's there. It's on Massage Matters. So the only thing is Massage Matters is a private group for massage therapists. But if there are any massage therapists watching yeah. this, just yeah. Um, go yeah. uh, Google Massage Matters, apply to join, answer three or four, three, yeah. three questions, and yeah. we'll approve their membership. Yeah. And you, you, you provide an essential service for students of massage as well through your, your student discount scheme. On your, on a student, well, yeah, for pure, my, this is, this is the, my marketing hat coming through. Um, I believe, and it's quite true, that the students of today, the massage students of today are the therapists of tomorrow. So mm -hmm. I offer a 10% discount to all massage uh, students. And I supply a lot of the colleges around the country, like HC, Holistic College Dublin, National Training Centre, and quite a number of the, um, the regional colleges, like Limerick College of Further Education, Waterford and Sligo. Um, so, you know, I'm very happy to have yeah. those as, as a backbone. But obviously this year in September, when they would normally have been ordering the Pure Pro <laughs> products, yeah. um, well, three or four colleges did give me their orders again, but others said, look, we're going to do all of the, um, uh, we're, we're going to postpone the actual hands-on work until, until January and we'll do the theory from September to Christmas and hopefully in January then. Yeah. So um, yeah. obviously like every other company in the country, Pure Pro has taken a dive. Sales are not what they were, what they have been in the past. But yeah. I'm hopeful because yeah. once therapists and students start using the products, particularly the, um, the Pure Pro massage oil, they, yeah. they just stick with it. Yeah. They, they really just stick with it. Um, very often I would get calls, people have heard about it and they would ask how much is it? And I would tell them. And I have, I have no problem saying it is more expensive, yeah. it's a premium high-end product, but in the long run, the ultra, the ultra massage oil just saves, saves people, saves therapists money. It lasts much longer. There are times that I, there are clients that I would have that only need to order once a year because they ordered the large, the, the, the four yeah. gallon size or the, the four liter size. Yeah. Um, and that's fine. They just come back a year after year. And 
I suppose one of the other things that I'm really big into is, is customer service. Yeah. I, I'm very hot. That's really, really important to me to, to give, give customer service, um, contact people and, and just really be there for them to be, to answer questions. Um, as I say, my, my, my tagline is, uh, always here to help you help your clients and and that's what and because I'm a therapist myself obviously I can use the I use the products and I can tell them you know which I think will be better for whatever modality. Super, super Mary. Mary it's fantastic uh, the opportunity to work with you now in your holistic academy as well so I'm delighted that uh, to have you uh, as a guest today and uh, so uh, how, how do people reach out to you what's the best way to find you? Um, pure, well, purepro.ie on um, for the website, uh, www.purepro.ie. My email is mary at purepro.ie. Yeah. I have um, a LinkedIn page and um, uh, Facebook is Pure Pro Massage Products Ireland. Right. So, so they can find it, it's almost confusing, John. There are so many ways for people to contact. Definitely, definitely contact now. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's a fantastic service that you offer, Mary, and, and you're sort of a champion for the massage uh, therapists around the country, which is incredible as well. And uh, we're delighted to have the opportunity to work with you. Yeah, well, I'm very pleased. I'm, I'm delighted that I heard about your Holistic Academy, and I'm certainly happy to work to yeah. promote it uh, to, within the massage, massage industry. Sure. I think, well, yeah, we'll, what you're trying to do is... is big it's yeah. it's a big challenge but i think if it's uh, well, stronger together mary is our time yeah stronger yeah together. absolutely absolutely so, uh, so i appreciate yeah. this opportunity yeah. and collaboration i mean for me collaboration is is the key word here and uh we're all connected and uh, we are all connected we're all the same energy so so mary it's been been a brilliant uh, conversation thank you so much and, and we'll talk to you again very soon yeah okay thank you very much john appreciate yeah. it have a good day Thank you. Thank you.